Welcome to MuseScore in Minutes, a series of short videos that will quickly get you up and running with MuseScore 2.0. I'm Dr. George Hess. In each of these videos, we'll look at how to use some of the basic functions of the exciting new version of this program. MuseScore is a free and open source music notation program that's a great alternative to Finale and Sibelius. You can download it for free at the website shown on the screen. Lesson 5. More input ideas. We've already looked at ways to enter notes using the mouse, the keyboard, and a MIDI keyboard. But there are even better ways to get notes into MuseScore. In this video, we'll look at some ways to finish our melody very quickly. Let's start it by taking a look at the entire melody. If you look closely, you'll notice that the rhythm of the first and second phrase is identical, but the pitches change. You'll also see that the first half of the third phrase has the same rhythm. We'll start by using copy and paste. First, we need to break up the rest to make beat 4 visible in measure 4. Let's click on that whole rest, type a 6 to break it into half notes, and then select the second one and type 5 to turn it into quarter notes. I usually like to zoom in when I'm doing selecting work, so I'm going to head, go ahead and zoom into 150%. And now what I want to do is I want to select this phrase and copy it, so I'm going to click on the pickup measure, hold the shift key down, and select all of that measure. Now type command C or control C to copy it. Click on that last quarter rest and then command V to paste it. Okay. We're going to do the same thing in measure 8. And command V to paste it again. So now we have three identical phrases. If this were a riff blues, we'd be done, but we still have to change the notes. To do this, we'll use the repitching tool. Click the first note of the second phrase, type N to enter note input mode, and then click the repitch tool right next to it. Now play the correct pitches for phrase two and the first half of phrase three. Don't choose any note value. When finished, click the repitch tool again to return to input mode. The melody ends with a measure of triplets. Let's enter those now. If you're still in note input mode, press the escape key. And then select measure 11, hold the shift key and select measure 12. Press the backspace key to delete the notes. Click the whole rest. Now enter note input mode again and type 6. Then type Command 3 for a triplet, and you'll see that we now have a quarter note triplet. Play the notes. Right, and we have to do Command 3 again for the next triplet. Make sure you press 6 first. and then our last note, the whole note. There's one more very important method of inputting music in MuseScore I need to mention. Importing. MuseScore has long supported the import and export of more file formats than any other program. The list of supported formats is shown on the screen. There are thousands of these files available for free on the internet. The results you get from importing each type of file will vary greatly. Some will be almost ready to use, and some need so much work as to be pretty much useless. In general, music XML files will provide the best results that will require the least amount of editing, but there are usable files in all formats. This has been MuseScore in Minutes, a production of George Hess Music. For future videos, please subscribe to this channel. And for information about music technology training and clinics, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.